Have you ever stopped to imagine what would happen if we mix silicone with used motor oil? It seems unlikely, even strange. But what you're about to see today is one of those tricks that defies common logic. It's one of those hidden secrets that almost no one knows about and that can transform something that would otherwise be discarded into a powerful and useful solution. Please share your thoughts and comment on where you're watching from, your city or country. It's always amazing to see where this content is reaching, to meet the people who are part of this community. And of course, this helps me produce content that's increasingly aligned with you, wherever you are in the world. It all starts simply, almost innocently. A disposable cup, a common container, nothing to draw attention to. Inside, I pour a generous amount of silicone. And here's a warning, the amount isn't exact. It depends on your needs, your project, and what you want to protect. But up to this point, nothing surprising, right? Now comes the ingredient that seems out of place, kerosene. Yes, it enters the scene as if by chance. And don't worry, you'll soon understand its mysterious role in this insane combination. For now, just imagine. Silicone and kerosene in the same cup. But mixing that with just any spoon? No. For an experiment like this, I decided to improvise a homemade mixer. I took a metal rod, fitted a screw to the end, and secured it all with two simple clamps. The result? A rustic but ingenious piece that I attached to the drill chuck. It's like transforming an ordinary tool into a secret laboratory device. When I turn on the drill, the noise fills the air and the magic begins to happen. The silicone and kerosene fuse, transforming, creating a different texture, more liquid, more moldable. But the real mystery has yet to be revealed. This is where the forgotten protagonist of so many workshops comes in. Used motor oil. That dark residue, often seen as dirt, now has a new purpose. I pour it over the already dissolved silicone kerosene mixture. Once again, I use the improvised mixer. The drill spins, the dough moves, and before my eyes, something is born that didn't exist before. At first it seems crazy, but I soon realize the mixture thins, gains body, becomes a thicker, denser, intriguing liquid. And then the moment of truth arrives. Before me is a raw, untreated piece of wood, ready for transformation. With a paint roller, I apply the first coat of the mysterious liquid, and the wood immediately absorbs it, changing color and gaining shine. Ideally, Repeat the process with two or more coats, leaving the surface more uniform and resistant. It's at this moment that the secret finally reveals itself. Powerful protection and a surprising finish. This mixture isn't just a curious combination. It's a powerful shield against an invisible enemy, termites. Kerosene, on its own, is already known to repel these pests. Used motor oil also performs this function creating a barrier that termites simply avoid. And silicone, with its protective nature, seals the wood, reinforcing the defense and providing extra resistance against moisture. It's as if three distinct warriors united in a single protective armor. The result goes beyond protection. The wood, once simple and lifeless, now shines with a renewed appearance, as if it had received an unexpected touch of refinement. It's beautiful, it's durable, it's protected. And all of this is made from ingredients that would otherwise be discarded. And now that you know this secret, what will you do with it? Will you try it at home? Will you look at used motor oil differently? One thing's for sure. After seeing this result, you'll never want to waste this powerful material again. Have you ever stopped to imagine what could happen when you combine two materials so different, yet so present in the daily lives of any creative and curious artisan? Silicone and paint thinner. It seems unlikely, strange, and even a little risky, doesn't it? Well, that's exactly what we're going to try today. And the result of this unusual combination, I guarantee, will surprise you in ways you might never have imagined before. We start with the silicone. To maintain control and ensure precision in the process, I use a highly sensitive scale and carefully separate 50 grams. But here's the most important detail. This quantity isn't a fixed rule. It all depends on your needs, the size of the project you intend to complete, and even the type of surface you want to transform, bringing flexibility and freedom to the experience. 
This is where the second ingredient, thinner, a powerful solvent, comes in. I measure out 100 milliliters, maintaining the ideal ratio. For every 50 grams of silicone, add 100 milliliters of thinner. This ratio is key to ensuring the mixture works properly. But combining these two ingredients isn't as simple as it seems. To facilitate the process and ensure a more efficient and homogeneous mixture, I decide to improvise an ingenious and creative device. I take three sturdy nylon cable ties, carefully intertwine them one by one, and firmly attach them to the end of a well-fitted metal rod. The final shape resembles a small homemade propeller, simple yet extremely functional, and I quickly fit everything precisely into the chuck of my electric drill, ready to spring into action and amaze with its performance. When I turn on the machine, the magic begins. The propeller spins, mixes, dissolves, and the texture transforms before my eyes. The silicone and thinner, previously so distinct, now combine in a homogeneous and surprising solution. But there's still something missing. Like a painter facing a blank canvas, I add the third ingredient, liquid pigment. I chose red, vibrant, and intense. But you can use whatever color best suits your idea. A generous amount is enough to bring the mixture to life. The liquid gains hue and depth and is ready to use. Carefully, I pour everything into a convenient container, ready for the next step. And now the mystery begins to unfold. In front of me, a simple solid clay brick. Nothing special, just raw, unfinished, rustic, and completely natural, waiting for an unexpected transformation. Using a brush, I dip it into the newly created solution and begin applying the first coat. Almost immediately, the brick absorbs the liquid, revealing an unexpected shine and a stunning color transformation. In just a few seconds, the previously raw and lifeless surface begins to take on a renewed appearance, as if revitalized before our eyes. Ideally, wait approximately two minutes before applying the second coat, ensuring uniformity, depth, and a more refined finish. What previously appeared dull and worthless now reveals an intense, vibrant, and homogeneous hue, reminiscent of a fully restored piece. To achieve maximum resistance, the curing time is approximately six hours to the touch, especially for applications performed outdoors. But I don't stop there. I want to test the limits of this homemade paint. I place before me an ancient piece of wood, battered by the sun, the rain, and the relentless passing of the long years. Brush in hand, I spread the mixture over the wood surface. There's no need for a white primer or any special preparation. The material absorbs the paint on its own, as if it were made for it. With the first coat, imperfections begin to disappear. With the second, the transformation is complete, revealing a new, vibrant appearance. In just a few minutes, what once seemed worn and disposable is reborn with strength, elegance, and a stunning finish. The ideal drying time is approximately six hours, varying depending on the region and whether the application is indoors or outdoors. And the most surprising thing? The finish is not only aesthetically pleasing, but also functional and long-lasting. This blend behaves like a true high-performance professional paint. It's completely waterproof, easily water-resistant, doesn't peel over time, and can be washed without losing its shine or color intensity. It works perfectly on exterior surfaces constantly exposed to rain and sun, but it can also be applied indoors, offering savings, practicality, versatility, and impressive results that few could imagine possible with something so simple. Now stop for a moment and think with me. Who would have thought that thinner and silicone, combined in such a simple and precise ratio, could create something so useful and surprising? A homemade, affordable, easy-to-prepare paint that transforms various surfaces and delivers strength, durability, and beauty all at once, surpassing even many conventional solutions. If this secret surprised you, share it and subscribe to the channel now. Many more amazing ideas are yet to come. Thanks so much for watching, and see you in the next video.